Hi friends, welcome to another episode of Career Attainment and my name is Vikram Limse. Today we will talk about a very important topic. How does one thrive and succeed in a gig economy? Now I'm quite certain most of you or many of you have already heard this term gig economy and are familiar with the concept. But for those of you who are not and for their benefit, let me revise it a bit. A gig economy is a phenomenon in the economy where employment opportunities are more in the nature of or more in the form of short-term contractual assignments. Different from a regular economy where employment opportunities are more of a permanent nature where you get salary month after month, year after year for a long period of time and the company also offers you certain other significant benefits. But that's not so in a gig economy. A gig economy is a impermanent temporary nature where short term or even medium term contractual uh, 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 assignments are offered to the gig worker. The gig worker is the guy who's working in the gig economy. It's more impermanent and temporary in nature. Freelancers with a certain skill set are onboarded for a particular task for a particular period in time. It's very task based and time based for a particular assignment and once the task is accomplished and the objective is achieved then the contract is over and the person can proceed. That's the nature of a gig economy. Now gig economy has been around for some time now even in the manufacturing economy earlier after all the labor contractors bringing labor to the factory or to the construction work site is a nature of the gig economy but in today's world it's become more significant, more visible. Probably because most leading economies now are knowledge economy and digital economies and uh, a significant chunk of their GDP is contributed by the services industry. And a large part of the people working in the services industry are now gig workers. And that's why it's become very visible. In fact, in the Western world, it's said that almost 40 to 45% of the total workforce is a gig workforce. That's what is happening. And it's only a matter of time that it's going to happen in India as well. Already the ITES and BFSI and such segments and sectors are employing gig workers in the large proportion. Now, why do you need to prepare yourself for this gig economy? That's the important topic of today, right? The reason why you need to prepare for being and succeeding in a gig economy is because it's human, because when you come into the employment market or when you start a job for anybody, whether you are starting afresh or are moving uh, to the gig job, uh, you plan your life and your personal finance and personal economy around a routine economy, a routine salary, a stable structure, right? Your EMIs, your home loans, your car, your personal finances, school fees, everything is planned uh, in the context of a regular assignment or a regular job. But in a gig economy, it's completely different. You're faced with a different animal, so therefore you need to prepare for it. And you need to prepare for it because that's the way things are going to go forward. Many of you are going to be a part of the gig economy, are going to be gig workers. So therefore, I thought it's important that we discuss this. And there are many ways that you can prepare for the gig economy. But in my view, I feel I have distilled five main points, which I feel are important. And if you pay attention to them and if you are aware about them, you will succeed in the gig economy as well. There's no way you will not. So let's begin with these five. The first one is mental preparation. Please understand that the gig economy is a different animal. So do not judge yourselves by the rules of a regular economy when you are playing the gig economy. That's like saying I'm playing football but I'm judging myself by the rule of cricket. In a gig economy, that's the nature of the economy that you will get money sometimes, sometimes you will not get money. There will be highs, there will be lows. So don't beat yourselves or don't be harsh on yourselves when you are in the lows. That's the last thing you should do. Because many people I've seen where they are in the lows, they start uh, you know, being harsh to themselves and spoil the entire game. So that's like getting nervous before the game only, right? 
So don't get nervous. That's the that's the way the economy functions. That's not about you. Right? So understand that. So mentally prepare yourselves that the gig economy is a different animal and therefore do not judge yourselves by the standard of the other economy. Point number one. Point number two, be aware of the consistency. Money is going to come sometimes, sometimes it's going to be less, sometimes it's going to be more, sometimes you're going to get a huge number. Please understand, once again, prepare yourselves, you're not going to be hitting a sixer every time. Even Sachin Tendulkar can't do that, right? You're aware of that. So please understand that. And once again, that's the second more, most important preparation point about consistency. You will, because of the nature of the gig economy, you will make less sometimes, sometimes more, sometimes nothing at all. So be prepared for that. Point number three is financial discipline and pricing. Pricing about whatever that you bring to the table, your skill set, your product, your service offerings, whatever it is. Financial discipline is very, 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 very important. And that's connected to your pricing. Be very clear about what is your fixed expense and what is your variable expense. It pays to know that because it impacts your pricing. So when you are pricing your services in a gig economy, please understand that don't be rigid about your pricing till the time you reach a comfort level where your variables are always taken care of. Once that is done, then you can play around with your pricing and increase it or reduce it or whatever. But till then, do not be rigid. In fact, take a leaf out of from the FMCG world. You can also give some free samplers. You can do a free audit. You can do a free consultation. You can do a free workshop. Those are the kind of things that you should do in a gig economy. Don't worry about the pricing in the initial phases. The most important thing is be financially disciplined and do not disturb, do not refuse work. That's very important, right? In fact, it pays to have in the initial stages to have something parallel, have a regular routine, maybe a part-time assignment going, a part-time job going and then participate in the gig economy on the side. That's a good way to start. But Point being made over here is be very clear about the financial discipline. Don't be rigid about your pricing. Be easy about your pricing till the time you reach a comfort level and never ever refuse your work. That's the number three point. Point number four is about positioning yourselves, about telling the world what you are. And here's a small tip again. Most of the time in the gig economy, people are uh, more uh, worried or uh, you know uh, busy about telling about themselves rather than their work so you need to be positioned very tightly and very clearly in the mind of your target audience it is better and hear me out very clearly it is better that few people know what you do than many people know about you different Few people knowing what you do and many people knowing about you are two different things. So when you are communicating your positioning or communicating about what you have to offer, be very clear about this. That's the point number four. And point number five, again, a very important point, maintain a routine and be very disciplined about the lows. In fact, you should use the lows. Routine is very important, especially on, in the times when you don't have work. Don't sit back, get up late in the morning, you know, don't do anything, don't have a bath till 2 o'clock in the afternoon, don't do that. Be very disciplined. Behave even when you have lows in a gig economy. Behave as if it's a disciplined work day from morning to evening and that's going to help you. In fact, one of the tips is during the low, start reskilling yourselves, develop new products. And another very important thing, maybe start a business on the side. A gig economy allows you to do something on the side, allows you to start alternative professions, allows you to start alternative businesses. Remember, that's the nature of the gig economy. So don't forget that. 
whenever you are in the low, start something new. Maybe that will flower and flourish in the long run and give you more than adequate returns. So again, I'm summarizing the five most important preparatory points to succeed in a gig economy. Point number one, understand that it's a different animal. Don't judge yourselves by the rules of a regular economy. Point number two, be aware of the consistency. Don't compare yourselves with a friend who gets money every month because that's a different economy. There's a different economy. Point number three, financial discipline and pricing. Be very aware of all your variable costs. Don't be rigid about your pricing and never ever refuse work. Point number four, be very tightly positioned about what you have to offer. Remember, it's better less people know what you have to offer rather than many people aware about you. And finally, use the lows to reskill yourselves or start something new or start something else because that's the character of the gig economy and that's why you are in the gig economy. I hope this video helps you. Share, subscribe, keep watching. Until we meet again, bye for now.